Hey everybody, what is up? Rod here with some more Castlevania Sympathy of the Night. So we last left off, I was making my way through here in this lovely tunnel. Nope. Oh, I tried to hit triangle to dodge. <clears throat> I'm so used to have to jump to hit most of these, but I forget in Sympathy like you could literally just attack it from the ground. Oh. Oh, this one's pretty cool. It shoots like diagonally. Pew, pew. Bounces off the walls and shit. Uh, it more damage than I thought it would. Ow. That's like stuck in <laughs> Nice. Okay. Alright, now that's out of the way, we can make our way back down here. Yeah, okay. Head this way. CD. Oh, the Marble Gallery. We go with the Holy Water. That's actually one of my favorites. Because of that right there. Now, I know you're thinking probably like, hey, maybe I could no. Oh no, it's facing the other way. Uh, probably thinking you could attack the ground. Like, there's no secret there. It's just like a little random crack on the wall. Or floor. Nothing special. So, and also, if you ever need hearts too, you can literally just respawn, come back. Because the big one gives you five, I believe. And I said something too about the um, the hearts not giving you when you get the heart max up that it didn't give you more hearts. It does. It just doesn't refill it like HP max up does. I think we are on that too. No, we want to keep the holy water. And if you go this way, watch out for the table. Should be another save room. Yeah. Go ahead and save again real fast. Never hurts. I'm not gonna lie. If they remade this game, not I don't want it to be like Bloodstain. I don't want it to be 3D. Like that would be cool and all, but I would prefer it to be like in pixelated art. But like if they remade it, oh my god, that would be so cool. I forgot to turn off the vibration. I was like, why is my controller vibrating? Uh go down here. Why not? Okay, I don't think so. Yeah, that's right. I'm trying to roll what's down here. Oh. Besides that in my face. I know there's an item up there I can use. Oh, the ragdoll girl. Yeah, that's right, get out of here. I'm saying there's a hammer up there. I don't know if you guys saw that for like a split second. You get familiars in this game, which is what I mentioned when I played Bloodstain. Oh, no, don't do it. No, no, damn it. Um, and one of them you get in this game is a fairy. And, uh,. The hammer up there, she'll, if you get turned to stone, she'll uh, use the hammer, I think, to get you out of that status effect. Pretty cool. I just happen to remember if, there it is. I think this shows the enemy's name. I could be wrong, let's double check. Shows enemy damage. Wait, like, what I do to them? Yeah, there you go. Now you can see how much damage I'm doing. I feel much more comfortable once I have a better sword, because this one doesn't have very good range. I mean, obviously it's a short sword, but I'll feel better when I have just a little bit longer of a weapon. I'll have to get so close when I got to do my attacks, at least. Okay, we're going on hearts. Alright. Oh, 
There should be like fire demons down here. Like ghosts, fire ghosts. Oh, this guy. Throw that holy water, bro. Yeah. So like 50, 25, okay. I'd say once we move past him, got the boomerang boys. Oh, there they are. Honestly, these guys aren't really worth killing. You can just run past them. Don't think I'll worry about them. Keep making our way down. I think there's another big guy down here. Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the holy water is definitely OP, in my opinion. I don't remember if this way is locked or not, though. It might be. Oh no, we just unlocked it. There you go. Okay, so we just unlocked that path. I don't think we can... Yeah, we can't go in there yet. I also don't think you can jump. You can try, but I don't think you can jump down there either. I just realized these guys. Are you shitting me? Okay, I was like, what was that? Hey, level up, alright, I'll take it. Let's see if that'll work. Oh, you can. Ah, oh, just shy. I wasn't sure. I'm like, I think you can make it. I don't know. I want to try one more time. And we'll move on. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I'm like, eh. It's like right there. Not that big of a deal anyway. Alright, so... I think what I'll do is I'm going to run back up to that spot where we were just at. I wonder, should we just go back the way we came? I'll probably just fast forward through this part. <clears throat> just because I'm about to do it again. I'm not even drop two. Ah. Got him. And now's where the skelly boys, the ghosts, are gonna be a little more annoying. I'm trying to go back, I feel like. I could be wrong though, we'll see. Yeah, because they're gonna appear like in front of me versus behind me. Back up. Oh no. Ah. Oh, just missed. Oh, I was hoping I'd get him before he swung. <laughs> you have one more hit left and you got me with that. That's hilarious. Hopefully that'll help me level up too. Go back to fight those guys again. Okay. I also hate having to do this without double jump. No, that's why right there. I did exactly what. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, no, stop it. Well, it has to be exact or he's gonna fall. There we go. kind of drop. Doesn't even bother trying to get back up there. Nope. Are you can get a shield from those guys? Because I'm pretty sure like every enemy drops something valuable. 
So I remember at one point I literally tried to get every single item in the game, and let me tell you, that was not fun. Mainly just because the Ouroboros like had like a 0.02% chance to drop a Lapis Lazuli, and it was obnoxious trying to get that. Okay. So that's just another little side path. Go ahead and go in here and save again. And we'll be back to where we were in the beginning of the video. So my HP and my hearts are about the same. Only nine away. Okay. Nope. Keeping that holy water. I keep expecting it to be a heart. I forget that it's a little nine. Ah, uh, yes. The most annoying enemy. <laughs> I hate those little dudes. So luckily the holy water kills them pretty fast, but like just trying to hit them normally, they're very infuriating. Alright, let's meet our new friend. Hello, Maria. Oh, I'm just exploring. I know I'm not human. That's interesting. I don't know why it decided to move right there and then not. Um, you can go up there. I just can't get up that high yet. This is a very important room too, by the way. More than one thing happens in there. Yeah, that's right. I know your weakness. I thought there were two. Alright, we're lucky. There was only one. So there's three and one and only one in that hole? It's confusing. Nope. Holy water. Come on, man, you're not gonna fuck me up on that. It's about to be salty as hell. So we can't go in that room yet. We have to... There's a door that we have to unlock. That'll make it so we can go in there. Um, there's like that little red thing on the floor. We can go through that. Yeah, that right there. We can go through that. We just have to get the... Uh, oh, not that yet. We might not be able to do it yet. There's also another room I, I skipped out on. Um, I, you know, I think we might have been able to talk to her there too as well, Maria. But I think there's a magical barrier preventing us from getting in this room. Yeah. Once you go in there, there's a button that'll open up those holes in the floor. Damn it, I keep confusing him with the guy that throws him up and over my head. Oh shit. Alright. Makes some really good progress, you guys. Because once we get through this hallway, we gotta fight these, this thing right here. <laughs> really just want to attack his face. But it's pretty cool that you can attack, like, jump on her head, or jump on his body, and then attack her, but it doesn't do any damage, unfortunately. She's not even the worst part of this hallway. I can do that. It'll be a lot faster. You'll see here in a second what I'm talking about. Once you make it past her, I think they come in and... Ooh, 250 gold from that, hell yeah. Or monies, dollars. Alright, should be right here. Yep, there they are. That right there. If you get hit with that, you will turn to stone. That poisons you. And 
they're not really, like, I don't think you can get them, like, maybe with an axe, but you can't get them with the holy water, I don't think. Oh, yeah, there's an eyeball in the background, if you can see that, by the staircase. Kind of freaked me out the first time I was like, what the hell is that? Ugh. I was gonna say, I just need to get in there real fast. I can't remember if there's two or three. Nope, we're gonna keep the holy water. Because it's definitely about to come in handy really fast here in a second. Okay, so we're at the outer wall, making really good progress. Zircon is a ring. We can equip it, but I think you just want to sell it. Yeah, sellable. Okay. Uh, let's go this way first. This is why the holy water is going to come in handy. Because my man will kill me in like two hits. Alright, so what you want to do is you go past him, right? And you go back here, and you're like, oh, wall chicken. That's not all. What you want to do is stand here. I can't remember if it's 10 seconds. Am I over far enough? I might not be over far enough. Let's try that. Uh, am I in the wrong room? Weird. I could have swore... I could have swore this is the worm, because I thought you attacked the wall and then you like... Oh, you know what? No. No. It's the wrong spot. Because if it's not... What was it? Oh god, I hate this part so much. Ugh, I hate you guys with the passion. <laughs> They're so annoying. So annoying. Alright, if you go down here, I do believe... No, I thought there was a item of some sort. I know you can use this, which is pretty cool. You can zoom in. Oh, I don't see him because we haven't unlocked him yet, but if you zoom in, you usually see the, the, the oarsman, I guess you would call him, the dude with the boat. Alright, I thought there was an item down here, guess not. Oh my god, the knockback is literally the most annoying fucking thing ever. Okay. Well, that's the bottom half. I know you need mist to get through that spot, but there's the spot I'm thinking of. I'm almost positive that there is a uh, a secret within the secret. Yeah, we can't reach that. Oh man, I gotta do this first. Well, um, let's go ahead and use one of those. Oh no, we're fine. Why? Oh, I wasted it. I thought the... Man. What level are we at? Nine. And we need 159. How much do these guys give? Oops, I didn't hit start one time. Oh wow, those guys give 50. Alright, well we'll just kill them a couple more times because... You're right here. Save room. <clears throat> yeah, I get my rooms mixed up a lot. I, I think the one I'm thinking of might be up here because there's an item we get. Like that's why I was like, you can get this game, this item at the beginning of the game, and you go back to a spot um, that there's certain enemies you could fight that like they do. It just does so much damage to them. It's ridiculous. All right, so boss fight. I think it's a uh, doppelganger. If I remember, yeah. Let's see if I remember correctly. What? How did I not get him back? 
Yeah, boy. Oh no. Oh no. No. Haha, I got him. Got him again. What? I guess through that? I didn't know that. He's so good at just barely dodging that. Oh, I got him again. Yes. Oh, I got him twice. Oh, God. I wish I had more control of my character. What? I'm calling poor shit on that. Got him. There we go. I was like, come on, man. Give me that HP max up. Okay, look at that. So, I mean, like, I feel like they're a lot more forgiving. I mean, and I can't even blame it on the time frame either, because back then, like, there were still games that were hard as fuck. But I feel like they're, they're pretty forgiving. Like, and what I mean by that when I say that is, like, if this was a game made now, and especially with the whole, you know, like, being themed off Dark Souls, like most of them are or have been lately, like, the boss would have killed me in probably two or three hits. Whereas you saw, I took plenty of damage fighting this guy. <clears throat> so it's just like a little more. It's a little more patience required for uh, like the game I was talking about. Uh, what was it? Dark Devotion. Yeah, that one requires a lot more patience than I feel like this does. So we can jump over there, but I don't think it's really worth the item. Okay, that's not unlocked yet. I really do think I was in the right spot for that item, though. We'll see. Where does this go? I forget. Let's go to the library. Yeah, okay, this goes to the library, which we'll definitely go there in a second, but there's something I wanted to get first. Got him. I hate those guys. Yeah. I love the different variation of enemies. It's awesome to see. Like, it's not just the same thing over and over and over and over again. Okay. If you go up here... Stop! Ugh. No, oh, back here. Yeah, I definitely think I had the right idea with the first item. Okay, the yellow Medusa heads. Those are the ones you want to watch out for because they will mess up your Jimmy Jams. Okay, so the elevator is activated. The one beauty about this area, once you make it to the top, I think it's up here at the top. Oh, that's just a book. Not really my favorite item, but it is. it does come in handy. Alright. So, save point again. Almost at 100 health. That's fucking sexy. I wonder what the max health is. I forget. It's up there. A couple thousand. Okay, so now that that's done, we can go down here. Bam. The soul of the wolf. Now, if I remember right, you press R2? Or do we have to activate it first? Yeah, transform into a wolf. L1, okay. <laughs> you get to be a wolf. <laughs> um, when you do that, it, um, it requires magic. So it's not like a free thing. You can't just like transform into a wolf and go around the whole time. This is what I wanted to get to. This is a teleport room. And when you use the first one, it'll take you all the way back to the beginning, which I thought was really cool. To the spot where I was like, oh man. So maybe, I'm still unsure as to what the right path would have been 
on how I want it. Yeah, you just do that and it takes you right back here. Right at the beginning. But while we're here, I will show you guys something really cool. Check this out. So, get the form of the wolf. You come back to the beginning. I, I think I'm going to do this right. Oh, come on. Like, in the beginning, they're real... They're worth it to kill all these guys, but they're just... They just keep popping up. You can tell where they're coming from on the ground, but sometimes I swear they pop up right in front of me. I'm like, oh shit. Like that one, whoa. And that one. Ugh. Oh my god. Nope. I spaced out just perfect. Okay, now if I remember right... If you go through this as a wolf... It should open a secret path? It didn't open the secret path. Just kidding. It must be a bat then, because... You have the ability to go... I want to say it's as the bat. Because you get an ability to transform into a bat as well. Yeah. That's a shame. Alright, well. I thought it worked. Sorry guys, didn't mean to get your hopes up. I hate to like keep wanting to explain something that doesn't happen. I'm like, oh well, I guess it'll happen later. Nope. Oh, I landed literally on his head. So it's a little easier to dodge when you're going this way for some reason. Something about going backwards through a room. It's a lot more difficult to dodge the enemies. Okay. Go ahead and head up to the library now. I'm still confused, like, I don't understand why that... There's supposed to be, like, when you go in that hole, after I beat that guy in the um, tower earlier, there's supposed to be a secret, like, that takes you to the room below. I don't know why it didn't work. Maybe it's a lot longer wait than I actually remember. Let's, let's go ahead and go back and give it another shot. I'll try it. I love it too because like after you make it out of the teleport room, you come back and I'm pretty sure the elevator's right here. So you don't have to worry about climbing back. I'm saying if you press down again, it'll uh, skip to the next one, which I really like. Okay, so let's try it again. He was what, down this way? Yeah. He's over this way. Oh, don't get me. No! That was terrifying. Ugh. You can duck underneath of that. But that's why I don't like attacking him like that. Because he puts up that stupid shield. Like, come on, my dude. Alright, let's try this again. Maybe it's a much longer wait than I thought. You're supposed to just leave Alucard there, and then I fall. Like, I don't fall, but I go through the ground. It just must be a, a lot longer wait than I thought. I thought it was literally just a couple seconds, but... Hey, there it goes. See? There you go. Alright. So. We get the Jewel Knuckles and the Mirror Curious. I, I need, maybe I need to look that up so I don't keep saying the wrong shit. Um, this is perfect because now we don't have to worry about the stone. <clears throat> I mean, it resisted. I don't know if it gets rid of it completely, but it resists it. And then the jeweled knuckles. Look at that damage, though. It goes from 17 to 28. And then obviously we can't go back through here because we need the mist form. It just takes you right back up. That's a, I should have just been a little more patient. I believe I forgot about all, all about that. Okay. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, because we got to get the magic seal first. Because there's a way to get back to the other side, and we go. If once we get the magic seal, we go through a door, and it takes us up in the top left, and we get really good stuff. Like, good experience. There's an enemy that we can kill up there that'll make us level up a lot. It's pretty ridiculous. 
Yeah, what's up? The Jewel Knuckles are cool too because I think they have a special ability that when you kill enemies they turn them into um, money or something like that. I, wanna say. I could be wrong. Unlock my way through here. Okay. I'll just take this back up. So I think this should go right to the library. There it is. Okay, sweet. Bum, 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 bum. It's nice too to hear this without it messing up because on my PlayStation 1 original, like, I played it so much that the soundtrack messed up. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Oh. I really need to turn that vibration off. It's going to drive me nuts. Alright, there we go. Beautiful level up. Um, now that I think about it, there's not really a point in going this way because uh, the room that's back there, we have to have ability that we don't have yet. So, I'm not going to bother with that. These guys you want to watch out because they curse you and make sure you can't attack. Shit. They don't take much to die, but they, they hurt you pretty good. That was close. And then once you get up here, yeah, there we go. Let's say we start get start delving into the books that attack us realm. What? How did I miss that? I know. I can't remember. Ow. I want to say there's a familiar. I know there's some hella strong books up in here. The fairy scroll. No, 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 no. Yeah, because they got the them spikes. Uh, what does the fairy scroll do? I can't remember. Displays enemy's name. Oh, that's what I was thinking I got earlier. Okay, so now you'll be able to see what the enemies are called. Hell yeah. I think these are just like phantasms or something. Magic tome. Oh, stay away from that. I wish I had an ability that could do that. That'd be neat. Alright, well, I guess that was worth the one damage. I think you're fast. You can't get a rapier, I think, from those guys. Oh shit. Yeah, we can't go that way yet. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we, yeah, we don't have the ability to get up in that next area. We can make our way back here, though. Here we go. <laughs> well, he's like, well, if you're gonna give me money, in that case... Okay, so, we can sell that Zircon. Um, there we go, can unlock blue doors. So, jewel is open. And then... Ooh, library cards are nice, because you can use those to, uh... If I remember correctly, you can use those to teleport back here. Just wanted to see what other items we could possibly... Oh, castle map, definitely get that. Uh, magic scroll... Oh yeah, that's right, you can use magic spells too, I keep forgetting about that. 
the hat's good. So his saber is stronger, but it's a two-handed weapon, not the biggest hand. Couldn't buy one of those too. All right, cool. Oh yeah, it shows you how to beat the bosses too. You can give them money, and it shows you how to beat them all. I thought that was pretty cool. And then you got your enemy list. Shows you all the enemies, like I said. Shows you what they're weak against, what they're immune, the items that they drop, how much experience they give, details. I really like it. It's cool. But yeah, on that note, guys, I think we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and end that here. And I'm gonna make my way back over. Oh yeah, look, there it is. There's the map. Um, I'm gonna make my way back over to the left side over there, back at the beginning, and we're gonna head that way. I'm gonna take care of some enemies there that. Like I said, we're gonna level good. We're level 12. I think I can get us up to like level 30 there just in a matter of minutes. So that'll help out a lot. But yeah, for now, go ahead and head back to the teleport spot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, I am having so much fun going back to play this again. <laughs> it's a blast. But yeah, if you haven't picked it up yet, you can get on that PlayStation Store right now. Go ahead and buy it. I mean, I literally recorded this episode yesterday, so. There's still plenty of time to go. I think it's under the retro sale. It's 10 bucks, you can get it. So, go buy yourself a copy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Have an amazing day, and I will see you guys later.